In Merthyr Tydfil in Wales, there's a sign of the big change coming to our workplaces. It was a fabulous place to work. Loved it. We could set our watches by the people that would come into the inquiry centre year after year. Margaret Davis worked at this former tax inquiry centre. Now her job has gone as more people go online to submit their tax returns. 34 people here were made redundant. A computer cannot do the job of a human being. It cannot think the way a human being can think. We could pick up a mistake in somebody's tax return and put it right, have a chat to them, explain what the problem was. A machine will never take the place of a human being. South Wales has had its share of job losses in the past. Thousands lost their jobs after the pit closures. And the recent recession hit hard. A lot of the people here are zero hours contracts, they're on national minimum wage, businesses open, they last a year, they close down. We've gone from heavy industry to light industry to also the administrative ind industries that are also closing. HMRC said public demand for the centre dwindled to the point where it could no longer justify keeping it open. It said it still provides individual support for more vulnerable customers. Advances in robots, machines and technology mean that more of our work will be automated. That will bring big benefits. But some of the jobs we currently do will disappear. This journey shows how the slow creep of technology into our lives has been getting faster. These trains have been driving themselves for almost 30 years. In the last 15 years, we've been able to check ourselves in at the airport. And the latest advance I don't need to call a person for a taxi. My smartphone knows exactly where I am and I can use it to order and pay for a cab. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. This progress can make our lives easier. But at one